Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm sorry it took me a while to make another video. I was just busy with real life stuff and uh, been working on my server, which is live. Check it out. Descriptions below the Club RP Discord. You can join it. You can join Blade of Spotted Discord for any 5M related support, anything. Uh, you can ask me questions. You can either hire me as a dev. Uh, so today I'm gonna make a video um, on how to add items and how to add items to the shop and how to make those items consumable and so let's dive right into it uh, so today I'm gonna use this MLO right here 24-7 supermarket and uh, in the pharmacy next door they both uh, come together with the same creator uh, shout out to uh, Dipsy and this MLO is actually free. Both of them are free, and he has way more um, MLOs. Uh, that's um, very nice. You guys need to check out his uh, website. I'm gonna leave the link in the bottom in the description. And before we get into this video, subscribe to this channel, smack the like button, and let's get into this video. So now we're going to make a shop today. I'm gonna put a clerk right there. I'm going to show you guys how to put a clerk into the shop and put items and make the shop uh, workable for RP servers. So let's dive right into it. Uh, so first of all, we're going to... Um, I'm going to be using WinSCP today. That's like uh, my favorite I use. I usually use the uh, studio for the videos because most of you guys use it. I uh, really recommend you guys to download this, Windows SCP. Um, I can leave the link in the description also. So you guys can download it. It's very more convenient. There's less colors and it's very easy to work with. So let's get right into it. So this is the server right here. So now first we're going to go to resources, QB, and we're going to QB core. We're going to shared and we're going to items lure. So now we have the items here. We're going to go down to eat items and drink items. So you can always make a new category any way you want to. So you can know um, what category belongs to what. So, But for this video, we're just going to use the existing category. And we're going to add a couple food items, a couple drink items right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to take... Uh, I will take the first, I'm going to take this one, and then we go all the way to the end, I'm going to copy, control C, enter, go right here, so now we paste it to here, so we're going to, we're going to make these, these two, and then for the drink items, we do the same thing. We can just go here, enter, and we can go back up, and go right underneath. Always leave a space between the next category. And we're going to control V. All right, so now we have it. So for this video, I picked up these items. We're going to put these in here. So it's two food items right here uh, for the grocery store. And... We're going to have to take exactly the same. You have to copy and paste it. So for the first one, you're going to do the chips for the food. You're going to rename. Control C. You're going to go right here. And we're going to paste this here. Paste it here. For the label. I'm going to call it potato chips. And the weight, we should, we, we're going to change the weight down to 100. And then we're going to go over to images right here. I'm going to change this image. Copy and paste the same. And we go to the end where it says description. And we 
can just change this. I will change this to potato. Potato chips uh, for description. So now that's done. Go next food item. Let's do the chopped melon. And control C. Go right here. Control V. Control V. For the label, we're going to call it uh, water melon slice. And we're going to go weight. Let's do it too. You can change the weight to anything you want. It's just, I mean, I don't think it's going to weigh 200. You know what I mean? So, and we go to images. And it will be less in your inventory. So when you have it in your pocket, it takes less space. So we go to the images right here. Highlight this. Control V. And we're going to go to the end right here. We're going to... Let's put a slice of watermelon. Okay, make sure everything is correct. Now let's go down to the drinks. These two. So let's put the cherry Dr. Pepper. Control C. And we'll put it right here. Copy. Control V. I mean, paste. Control V. Go here. So let's we'll call this uh, Cherry Doctor Pepper. Uh, let's do it in regular R. Cherry Doctor Pepper. Wait, we're gonna put that to one. Images, make sure you always uh, put the same code. This is the same spawn code, it's the same as the image right here. And we'll go to description and the ends, and let's write uh, it's. Sweet one, isn't that <laughs> Dr. Pepper? It's a sweet one. All right, let's do capital. So let's go back over here. And our next one is our Coke Mango. Rename. Control C. Control V. Control V. For the label. So Mango. Coke. Put two for the image. Control V. Go all the way back. Description. Uh, it's not good. All right. All right. All right. Description right here. Let me highlight this. And let's write. Uh, what was that? Mango. Oh yeah. So. It's, Mango flavor Coke. That's okay. Mango flavor Coke. Um, so now we have those. We have this, mm -hmm. and we have these two. So make sure we got the images in. Images. All right. Cool. So now we save this. Now this is done that over there and now I'm gonna minimize this so now we have to make it consumable so now the items are in but you're not gonna be able to drink or eat them so now we're gonna go to QB small resources right here we go to config Lua And 
gonna go down to right here. All right, so I think I, I think I already put it in here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these. Okay. And I'll show you guys how to do it from the beginning. Okay, so now what you do is you take, let's take those two, like, it's easy to highlight these, then highlight these right here. You know what I mean? So let's take these first two. Control C, right here, enter. We're going to Control V. And the same thing here. Last one, enter. Control V. So now we got two into drink consumables and two into eat consumables. All right. So now this right here represents this 4050, represents on how much you get full when you eat or drink that item. So we're going to change that. So for that we're gonna put the chips and uh, melon here. So for the chips, we'll put like three to four to get full. The melon, we're gonna put like one to three. For the Coke and uh, Dr. Pepper, let's do three, four, three, four. All right, and now let's put these items in. Always copy and paste to make sure you get the spelling right. All right, you can have one capital and one regular. So uh, it's easier to do is just copy, control C, control V. For the chopped melon, control C, control V. So now you have chips and chopped melon. So both of them are here now. And now we go to the drinks. So you got the cherry Dr. Pepper, control C. Control V, and then you got the Coke Mango. Control C, Control V. So now you have the Cherry Dr Pepper, Cherry Mango. We got the chopped metal and the chips. So now at this point we save. All right, that's done. So we can uh, consumables. We can close this down. All right, and now next step. We need to go to QP inventory right here. Go to HTML images, and we have to put the images here. Unless, if you do not put the images here, there won't be no images in your in, in your inventory pocket, okay, or at the shop. So what we do here is you get the pictures again. That's the the one you use right here. Okay, and then we're going to highlight all of these, control C, and I can just put it here anywhere, control V, and there you go, see, cherry Dr. Pepper is right here, chopped melons right there, well, of course the other two is going to be here too, chips right there, and what's that, uh, Coke mango, and then you got the uh, cherry Coke mango right there, okay. So that's done. Um, we minimize this. That's done for QB inventory. So now let's create the shop. So right now, all we did is we created the items that we're going to put in the shop. Um, I did not want to use the ones we already have, so I can show you guys how to add new items to the to the server and then put them in the shop and how to make them consumable. So now we go back to QB shops right here. We go to config Lua and then always copy and paste. Whatever you do, copy and paste unless you really have to code it in. Okay. Um, so this is the regular products for the regular 24 seven stores, which is normal right here. Right. So we're going to take this. We only need four slots. But just in just to to get all the commas right, we just take the whole thing, copy, so Control C, go 
right behind the comma, you click enter, space, you put it right here, and then you control V, you paste it. So now we only need four slots. So we keep this bracket as it is. This is the bracket that closes number 12. Okay. So we're going to start from here. We're going to click here and we're going to go up all the way. We only need until four. So we're going to do five. So we're going to shift and then we highlight all this. Okay. We're going to backspace, backspace, and make sure you get this comma right here. This right here comes all the way down to this bracket right here. Make sure it looks the same way. Otherwise, you won't read it. Okay. So now let's do we have one, two, three, four, four items that we just put in the server. Okay. So now let's get the items uh, again. Copy and paste. Do not write it just to make sure you got the spelling right. Because if the spelling is not right or any a letter is capital instead of regular, it would not work. So now we're going to take chips, control C, just put it up here, control V. Next item, we're going to take the chopped melon, control C, put it right here, control V. And next one, we're going to take the cherry Dr. Pepper, control C, control V. And we're going to take the Coke mango, control C. And control, yeah, make sure you only highlight the name, not the bracket. Be careful, don't take these brackets off. Quotation marks, do not mess with those. And, and if you're just missing, the whole script will give you an error. So we have all four items. So this represents the price and how much you want to sell this for. So let's bump it up. Let's sell this for five. Let's sell this for five. Uh, the chopped melon, let's sell it for 7 The chips, let's sell it for $3, okay? The amount of the chips that's available to buy are 50 So each player gets 50 bags of chips that you can buy throughout the time between one restart to another. So if you have that to 5, there's only 5 of them available for each player until the next restart. You know what I mean? So according to your server, the way you want to make it, you know what I mean? And how many, uh, what amount you want to put. You can put as much as 5,000. Okay? So we're going to keep it at 50. So we got all four right here. All right? We're going to save this. All right? So now what we're going to do is, we're not going to name it normal. So since this store is on Eclipse Boulevard, we're going to call it Eclipse. Eclipse. Okay? We're going to Eclipse. So we're going to save this. Okay? So now we're going to go down. We're going to take one of these 24-7 market, okay? So we're going to, you can take any of them. There's so many of them, okay? We're just going to take it so we can have a, a, a one to work on instead of coding it in. So you copy, okay? Control C. And then we can go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you do not mess with this. Make sure this is always at the end of your work, okay? So the, it's only, it starts here. And it ends here. So you add after this. So we go right here. As you can see, there's space. So you enter, enter. All right. And let's make a category for this. And let's call it uh, uh, groceries. 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 Uh, grocery store stores okay so now we're gonna hit enter space all the way to do underneath to do everything and control v and here is what we just put in here right so now we're gonna change this name right here we're gonna call it uh eclipse store okay this is, this is not going to show up anywhere. This will. This is your label right here. So this we can do this capital. So we can do this Eclipse. All right. Space. Grocery. And then we can do store. Eclipse Grocery Store. This is what are going to show up on your blip. 
Okay, so when you hover over, over the blip, this is what's going to show up. <coughs> okay, excuse me. All right, so now for this right here, we have to change this because this is the products that's going to that's going to be in this shop. So the products we made, if we keep it as is, all these products will show up. Not the one you just made. So if you want your products, the products you just put in, you want those to show up, you have to put the same as here. So instead of coding it, just take it, control C, always copy and paste to make sure you got it all right. And you replace this, control V. Okay, so now this shop will only have those four items that you put in. All right, so let's get the coordinates now. Okay, so let's go, let's put this over here. All right, so let's go over here. So let's uh, put this person, uh, let's put him here in front of the cashier. Okay, and then let's do uh, F8. You can do vector, it's, it's a vector four. So we do vector four, enter. You'll copy to clipboard. Bring back uh, this. You see what it says, coordinates, vector four. You can just highlight from here all the way to the bracket. Make sure you don't erase this comma or mess with it. So when you do vector four or vector three here and you copy, you, it copies everything. So now we're gonna control V and here are your coordinates, okay? Um, next one, shopkeep. You can keep it, you can keep them at the shopkeep as it is. But I will change it just to show you guys how to change uh, uh, the shopkeep. So I will leave this in the description. So now I have this right here. Okay. The the pad models. Um, I'm going to leave this in the description for you guys. And um, just an advice, just always use scenario pads. Scenario pads or story mode pads story scenario story mode uh, scenario because those those NPCs do not show up everywhere okay um, so what happens if if you click if you add one of these pads up here all right you can add any pad you want but if you add this here like these pads most likely you see them on the beach or see them anywhere in the in the server so if they're walking anywhere in the server you can just walk up to them, third item, and still open the shop without even going to the shop, which you really don't want in your RP server. You know what I mean? You want people to go to the shop to buy the item. More realistic, you know what I mean? So what you do is you get a story mode or a scenario, like scenario mail. Let's, uh, let's, let's put somebody in there. You can put anybody you see over here, okay? Um, this guy looks like a shopkeeper right here. We can put him. Um, so what you do is you click on it, double click. It will highlight. Control C. You go back over here. You highlight this and you Control V. You paste it here. So now you have that here, right? This right here is a scenario. You can always change the scenario too. Uh, this is uh, he's standing there with his mobile phone on. Um, this is the radius on how far you can target that uh, NPC. So we'll do a 2.5 to have enough radius because, as you can see, the counter is kind of big. It's a big ass counter. My bad, my language. All right, so target icon. You can always change these icons too. So let's change it to. Uh, I have these open. So let's let's put this one right here. The comment dots. So what you do is, you just have to replace. So this is right here. Okay, so F A R F A. So F A S. So then F A R F A. And then you don't have to put capitals. It will still work. Uh, I'd rather not put capitals. So so F A, and then you put this comment. C O M M E N T. And then for the dots, you take the basket and you put dots instead. 
as you can see I didn't put no capital like over here I'm gonna leave this in the description too you guys can uh, check it out it's uh, all icons you can see this is like all the icons you can when you create NPCs to target eye these are the eye this is gonna show up when you target them okay um, so that's it so now next one um, open shop this was gonna say when you third when you third eye the person um, show blip true you're gonna show the blip and then when you hover around the blip this is gonna show up on it right there um, now the blip sprite you can always change how to what the blip look like again I will it's gonna be in the same the same uh, where the pad models are you just go up here where it says blips right here all right we'll leave this in the description as I said and here are your blips so let's put um okay uh let's put something different okay so let's put um let me see let me see how about the e for eclipse boulevard let's put the e okay um that's 539 that's just an example you don't have to put the e you can choose whatever you want and let's uh, just want to show you guys how it works so 539 when you go blip sprite the five's right there 539 all right 539 and then the scale of the blip how big you want that blip to be on your map it's at 0 0.6 right now let's make it a little bigger and put 0 0.9 now the blip color it's set to regular no color at all so what you do is you go down here and these are the colors that you want to blip so right now it's just white all right zero so let's put um say mm, mm, mm. let's put light green all right light green or lemon green let's put lemon green so we get this right here 24 so we change this number right here from zero to 24 this is the color all right so that's good and now for delivery um i'm gonna take this off i don't really need we don't really need this you don't really need it unless you, you know you're using the new qb core i haven't even tried this i haven't even like looked into it this is a, a the new the updated version framework if you guys opening a brand new server now you'll have this framework <coughs> um so the old framework they don't have this right here delivery they don't have it uh, the new one they do I haven't even checked into it yet or did anything with it so I'm gonna delete it for now you don't really need it so it will still work if even if you take it off so now we got this done and now we're going to save this all right and now we are going to we're gonna have to restart the server all right I'll see you guys in a second I'm gonna restart real quick All right, so now we are loading back in. That's the Cubicore intro. You can, uh, guys can always change this intro. Uh, I will make a video in the future and show you how to change this uh, screen in the front. You can change it to a video. There's a lot of uh, free ones out there that you can just uh, download and upload them all right so now let's uh get in all right let's go last location so we can be right there at the shop 
And here we go. I'm in front of the shop. As you can see, you see the guy standing there already. So you walk in. And then let's look at the blip. Hola. Here we go. Ah, hola padre. We put the uh, hola, we put the E and it will be made it green. So when you click on it, it shows right here, Clips Grocery Store. Right here. Alright, so now we go up to this guy right here. Alright, so now you can third eye. We made it 2.5, so it's it's like the distance is uh, wide enough because the count is too wide. So we just third eye him. And here's the... Uh, this, uh, the, the thing we put in for the dot, the, com the common dots. So we open shop, and here are the items right here. Okay? So let's buy each of these items. Let's buy one chips. Let's buy one melon. Let's buy a cherry Dr. Pepper and a mango Coke. So now you see, so when you hover over them, so now when you hover over them, the potato chips, it says on the bottom right corner, potato chips. A slice of watermelon. The description that we put is a sweet one on the bottom right corner. If you guys can see that, a mango flavor Coke. So now let's see if they are consumable. Okay. So now let's eat the chips. Use, and there we go. Yeah, hey guys, have to make sure you put it in the consumables config lua. That's the only way that you it will work. Okay. So now see the the food bar on the bottom left corner and the, and the drink. All right, so we made it a minimum, so you have to eat more to get. Uh, my bad. Um, so now let's get the watermelon slice. Let's eat that. All right, and then look at the bar, the food bar in the b bottom left corner. See, it went up a little bit because we had set it up to where it doesn't give you much, so you can buy more if you get the drift. So now let's open the pocket back up. Cherry Dr. Pepper. Let's see if that works. Here we go. Drinking Cherry Dr. Pepper. Now look on the bottom left corner. Here we go. We got more. Now Mango Coke. And it's consumable. They all work. Bottom left corner. And there we go. You got to the thirst. They, and they get removed. And now here's your store. That's how you add items. And that's how to uh, add a store to the uh, to your server. All right. Um, now again, check out uh, the, for this MLO. I'm gonna leave the uh, description down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.